is BJ Jansen and I wanted to give you some quick baritone sax tips on helping you find your own sound. And so today's tip, we're going to talk about voicing and the importance that is to adding to the palette of your playing on the baritone sax. So without saying, you definitely have to have a lot of air going through the instrument. It's a very big instrument, so you have to be sure to support that with some proper air. Once you have that air, as we've described, you need to um, think about how are you gonna get that individual sound. So one of the ways that I like to help get the sounds in my head is a thing called voicing and voicing the saxophone. So what am I talking about? Well, when you speak, when you talk, a lot of things are moving around back there in your throat, in your mouth, and you can change the air speed and also how that's, that whole sound comes through in your instrument. So I like to think of, and for example, three different uh, examples uh, for voicing. Number one is a more closed example. So uh, if you say E and think E, you can feel how close that off, off that is. Uh, another example would be a sort of middle of the road, an ah, so you can think ah, and that's another way to voice. And then uh, last would be a really open, so that would be like ooh, so like an ooh sound. And so I'm going to play uh, the same note three different times using those different uh, ways. So I'm going to start with the middle, sort of the ah. So I'm going to think ah. So more like ah. And then I'm going to think of a more closed off. So I'm going to think E while I'm playing this note, E. And then I'm also going to follow up that with a third example of ooh, which is really open and really uh, open uh, in the throat cavity area. So, ooh. So those are just three ways you can experiment with voicing and expanding your palate on the baritone saxophone to find your own individual voice. Thank you so much for joining me today and please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.